Hi there! Welcome to this week's episode of BLA Real Estate. If you own an investment property or if you plan on buying one soon, I've got a tons of news to cover this week. News that could directly impact your business. So, let's get started. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news the city is building a new office tower in downtown San Jose. I know, I know, you hate offices. I hate them too. But here's the good news. This one is going to be a carbon neutral, like a whole building of offices that doesn't contribute to climate change. Wow. The project is called Park Habitat and is expected to feature a green lung as the center piece of the environmentally friendly tower. It will also expand the tech interactive museum so you can learn about how tech is helping save our planet and then go back to your office and actually do it. This project is being built by an alliance of mega developer West Bank and local developer urban community who says it's all about changing the traditional model of building that put office space first and nature second. They think it should be reversed from office park to park office. Park Habitat will have vast and open central courtyard which is a developer called a green lung that would be open to the sky and provide both ventilation and cooling. The tower will include a pocket gardens, a rooftop forest and a vegetation throughout the high rise. I love it because this approach will create a healthier, more resilient and sustainable communities as it pleases at its core. This means challenging the basic building blocks of communities. We want people to spend less time committing and more time doing things they love with the ones they love. Smart buildings trying the local economies, net zero energy communities. I believe in the power of innovative partnerships to build transformative projects that shape cities and improve how people live and work. Park Habitat is headed in the right eco-friendly direction. Once upon a time, in the city of Laguna Beach, there lived a wonderfully wealthy family known as the Nelsons. They had two adorable sons named Ricky and David, and they were always doing adorable things like going on family vacations. Now, you can live in the same house that famous TV family once used for their own getaways, right on a Laguna Beach. The five bedroom villa was designed by the architect Brian Jenner, who combined Italian coastal style with the luxury amenities like a home theater complete with a concession stand and a ticket booth. This home is listed at 40 million. You will have a wine cellar, kitchen, and a green room and a bar. It's just the perfect place to host your very own parties. The best part is a private staircase that leads to directly down to a Laguna Beach. If you're anything like me, you can't wait to spend all summer. Oh my God, we were all about to get priced out of the market. Mortgage rates have risen sharply since last month. When they were sitting at 3.11%, now they are up 2% which means that if you're looking to buy a house, it's going to be harder to do so. The experts are saying that home prices could go up by almost 15% between now and March of 2023. That's almost a 3 percentage point less than the predicted last month. But there's still a lot of something as important as a place to live. The reason for the change is that the housing affordability is making it tough for some people to get mortgages. And there is another thing, not enough houses on the market. That's right, there are record lows in terms of what's out there and that's causing prices to shoot up. But before you panic about your property or investment value, consider this. Zillow made a similar predictions during the COVID-19 recession and those predictions turned out to be way off the mark. During the 2020 recessions, both Zillow and CoreLogic published economic models that predicted US home prices would fall by spring 2021. That clearly didn't happen. Instead of falling out of favor, homes became more valuable 
than ever. This isn't just a problem for sellers and buyers. It's one for everyone, especially because homeownership is an important part of most America's wealth. Good news, bad news. New home construction is up for the first time in a long time. But projects are also stalling at higher rates. There's more construction happening now than there was leading up to COVID-19. And builder confidence is dropping. That means they're also less optimistic about the housing market. This is bad news because the number of authorized houses that didn't start construction classified as stalled construction projects increased 47% from 2019 to 2021 according to an industry analysis. The reasons for stalled houses are global supply chain crisis and cost escalations because of the pandemic. Silicon Valley is home to both the titans of tech and the world's most expensive homes. Now, one city has added a new name to that list, Menlo Park. In a city already known for its wealth and opulence, this 26.49 million home stands out as the most expensive listing ever on market in a Menlo Park. One that is now the epicenter of Silicon Valley venture capital and private equity funds. The three-story home includes five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 8,648 square feet of living space, and a vast outdoor area. It also features a matte finished white oak floors and a kitchen with a new marble counters. If you're willing to sell out 7.85 million extra for an adjacent vacant lot, you can ever make it the largest residential property in all of Menlo Park by area. This house is amazing. I can't believe all this has to offer. The primary suite is located on the second floor and it includes a gorgeous retreat with a sitting room, walk-in closet and a spa-inspired bath. There are three additional bathroom suites just down the hall. The lower level is unfinished but has a high ceilings and windows as well as a plenty of space for recreation, a home theater and even a home gym. There is also some amazing house tech multi-zoned air conditions. Nest thermostats, a distributed sound system that plays music throughout your entire house and programmable lighting. Outside, the grounds are entirely level with the space that opens to a park light setting on over an acre and half of land. This is a hot market folks. Good news, barrier residents, interest rates may be on the rise but it's not stopping you from buying the house of your dreams. So far, it doesn't look like the rising interest rates are affecting a buyer's behavior at all. In fact, we are seeing that homes are selling faster than ever. It seems like people are more fired up than ever about finding their dream home and getting into a new house. March was another record month for California and a Bay Area real estate. The median single family home price in California in March was 849K according to the California Association of Realtors. Here were the median sale prices of single family homes in the nine Bay Area counties. Almeda 1.43 million, Contra Costa 965k, Marain 1.737 million, Napa 998k, San Francisco 2.06 million, San Mateo 2.28 million, Santa Clara 1.95 million, Sonoma 833k, Solano 604k. The fact that homes have been on the market for historically low levels tells that buyers are just willing to pay those prices. They're willing to pay then quickly. Rising mortgage rates are not impacting the sales yet, as there are just too many buyers and far few homes. I think that as long as the economy remains strong, interest rates will keep going up without affecting a demand for homes or other big purchases. Are you thinking of selling your home? If so, I have something you absolutely have to see. 
watch this video where i give you some tips you will need before putting your house on the market remember real estate is tough business and it's important to go with info and it's important to go into any transaction harm with all the knowledge you can thanks for watching and be sure to tune to next week for more exciting updates like this one have an amazing week guys